the more serious serious subjects. Um, we were talking just a just a little bit earlier. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, our friends in the airports, the TSA crowd. You know they changed those regulations drastically a couple of years ago. And you, uh, you've flown in the last couple of years, you've been put through it. They took away their they started putting those body imagers in, and at the same time they did that. Even if your airport didn't have a body image, they took away the wand that they used to wave around you and figure out what was beeping if you set off the alarm. And they went to a, um, well, we call it gate rape in, a, in a Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> and the first time I experienced this, I was going out to Texas, and I was flying for a change. I, I usually drive out, but I was flying for a change, so I had to make a quick trip. And of course, they always stop the guy with the guitar because everybody knows that musicians always have cocaine and weed in their, in their guitar case. Uh, so they stopped me and were examining the guitar, and in the meantime, I kept beeping. And so uh, out comes this guy in the, in the usual crappy looking uniform and snapping on the, the latex gloves. Here he comes. And he touched me in places even my doctor doesn't touch me. And uh, it, right there in front of God and everybody. And, you know, at my age, any contact you can get is good, but that was just, that was just uncalled for. So after it was all over and I was smoking my cigarette, uh, I got to thinking that if this kind of thing had been happening back in the 60s or 70s, some of those songs that were written back then would have been written much differently. Mm -hmm. For instance, I don't think John Denver would have written Leaving on the Jet Line. I think he wrote something more like this. All your bags are checked. You're ready to go. You're standing in a line, winding to and fro. Your mind is on your trip, but before you fly, all your personal items must be scanned. Take off your shoes, your belt, that gold watch band, and when the buzzer still goes off, you'll know it's time to extend your arms and assume the stance. TSA is now free to move about your pants. These gloves have a license to grow, and you should know that you ain't even on no jet plane until no trace of your dignity remains. Oh, babe, it's touch or you don't go. <laughs> you know, those, those idiots have been doing this for two years now. And they haven't discovered a single incendiary device of any kind. However, they are uh, releasing statistics to show that they are doing some good. They discovered 335 previously undiagnosed hernias. They claim to have claim to have uncovered uh, some some 562, I think it is, previously undiagnosed enlarged prostates. It's kind of embarrassing that they discovered 743 people traveling under false gender identification. <laughs> and more than 6,000 instances of, shall we say, medically enhanced body parts of various kinds. <laughs> well, by now I know you must be seeing red. Well, you can thank those bureaucratic chuckleheads every time that buzzer sounds and you know it's time to extend your arm assume the stance. TSA is now free to move about your pants. These gloves have a license to grow, and you should know that you ain't even on no jet plane until no trace of your dignity remains. Ah, babe, it's touch or you don't go. TSA. We handle more packages than FedEx. <laughs> <laughs>